Imagine you are starting your journey with creating a game dev channel on YouTube. A year later, let's say you've posted 100 videos. None of them really took off. And you are still doing the same thing as in the beginning. Recording, editing, not really analyzing why your channel isn't reaching a wider audience. How can you prevent such a scenario? The speedball technique comes to the rescue. Set clear goals for your channel. And I don't mean general goals like I want to increase the number of subscribers. You need to specify them more. For example, as I'm saying this, I have 26 subscribers. I don't generally say I want to increase the number Number of people who subscribe to my channel, but I set a clear goal 100 subscribers by summer. Recognize the wins driving your channel. Discover your unique skills. For instance, if you are an excellent video editor, you might focus more on editing your videos. Are you an incredible game developer and already have vast skills when starting? Create engaging devlogs. A great example is Danny's channel, known for its eye catching thumbnails for devlogs. By the way, I love his channel and I'd like to draw some inspiration in the future. Identify your end course. What is blocking the development of your channel? Maybe lack of editing, making your videos difficult to watch, full thumbnails, irregular posting? For my channel, one of my end courses is irregular posting. If you have access to broader tools to analyze your audience traffic in your videos, you can set your schedule on days when traffic is highest. For example, posting videos on Saturday and Wednesday at 8 pm. If you've identified your wins and end course, aim to remove the end course over time as you develop your channel and try to maximize the wins. For this purpose, set yourself short-term and long-term goals. Start with small steps, as James Clear mentions in his book Atomic Habits. If you have a problem with procrastination, first focus on building a habit that you can consistently and regularly perform. Let's consider two scenarios. In the first one, you tell yourself, OK, I'll sit down for four hours on Friday afternoon and edit video after work. Now consider the second scenario where you have a habit of editing videos and use the eat the frog technique, meaning you do the hardest thing in the morning. You wake up and edit for, let's say, an hour. Of course, if you are just starting to build your habit, it's better to start with a very small step like editing a video for 5 minutes every morning. But let's assume you are dedicated that hour in the morning and now compare the second scenario with the first. You do the editing in the morning, assuming editing is something you don't want to do, you get it over with right away and don't have to worry about it for the rest of the day. Doing the editing on Friday afternoon after a whole day, you sit down tired and thus left productive, making you totally not want to do it. Let's say you are much more advanced after months of working on refining your wins. Here, you can combine the strengths of everything you've learned and stack the techniques I mentioned. You wake up in the morning likely with no distractions, and I personally recommend playing brown noise in the background. I don't know if it will work for you, but I personally find it much more easier to work with brown noise. You do the hardest thing in the morning using the eat the frog technique, you develop increasingly powerful habits of regular work on your channel and add to this the deep work technique. By the way, I recommend Cal Newport's book Deep Work. The cherry on top will be habit stacking. Let's say you wake up at 5am, edit the video until 6am, from 6am to 8am you work on your indie game, from 8am to 9am you go for a walk and spend this time on reflections. You can't imagine how many great ideas can come to mind during a walk. The hours I mentioned are just examples. Everyone has a different life and needs to adjust it for themselves. In the end, you are just a small speedboat that can quickly maneuver and change direction without losing anything. You are not a channel with a million subscribers yet. Then you can consider yourself a huge ship that must take a specific direction. And its captain knows what goal it aims for, maintaining the same developed style of journey. With that summary, I would like to end this video and wish you all the best in your adventure with indie game development and running game dev related YouTube channels. Thank you very much for watching and see ya!